So, here we are. And the first problem you notice with the new London bus is that it's a bit complicated. So you can't just get in it and go. Fire system pressure OK. Jeez. Mind the dog. And get on it. Oi! God above me. Get off, you pesky meddling kid. Off! Off! There's my bus. Right, mate. Representing the double decker, a 1987 Leyland Olympia. Representing the single decker, we have a 1993 Dennis Dart. Then, on behalf of the current London champion, we have the Mercedes 0305 G. This, of course, is a bendy bus, and that means it'll probably spend the day causing crashes and bursting into flames for no obvious reason. Which is why we've got two of them. Finally, representing the compact hopper bus, we have a 1997 Metro Rider. This is Hammersmith Bus Depot at rush hour, uh, and look, we've handcuffed ourselves to a bus. Buses kill 48 badges a week. Buses burn planets. CFCs coming out of the back of that bus are enough to fill the Pacific Ocean every three weeks. You're making this stuff up. That's what, what you do to get in the papers. You just make up statistics, they get printed, and you sound really good. Right. A Range Rover! Why do we want it? As soon as we can arrange easy finance. Well, right. as soon as the super yeah. See, the bus driver was so angry, he had to come up and ask for an autograph. Yeah, and then, and then, look, they put a bus in front of us so we couldn't be seen by all the passengers, but we just chained ourselves to that one, then. Meanwhile, the Stig saw a huge red car approaching, and he got on it using something called an Oyster card, which is useful if you have no understanding of money. Hammond stopped swearing long enough to answer the phone. Hello. Hello, yes, yeah, what? I'm just coming up to the first Albert Hall. I wondered how you were doing. You're just behind me and I'm stuck at the lights again. But there was one type of road user who wasn't courteous at all. Look at this idiot. <laughs> oh, God above. So that bus just overtook me, so I have to now go on the wrong side of the road and you get that, and now he's just set off. You see? And I'm stuck on the wrong side of the road. These are the problem, I've decided. The buses. Because all of the drivers think they are literally Lord God Almighty. Bloody murder. Howdy giving me a wide berth. Oh, shit. The bus is going oh. to kill me! You're going to kill me! Keep going, keep going! Tell me he's a homicidal maniac! There you go. Ooh. We're going to allow motorcycles to travel in bus lanes. From January, there is going to be a trial, because I think it would smooth, smooth traffic flow. Provided those motorcyclists remember that they can't, you know, terrify vulnerable road users such as cyclists. And so, well, what about bus drivers? Uh, uh, you cycle. Have you not been attacked by a bus driver? You don't cycle around the streets of London. No. Uh, talk to the, the other guy, the, 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 the uh, little one. Um, Hammond. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he knows what he's talking about. I remember watching your show where he beat you hollow. Uh, in, uh, around London on his bike. You were going by a speedboat. Yes. He was far quicker than you. He knows yes. about cycling London, and he will confirm that uh, bus drivers are, in fact, extremely considerate. What he actually says is they're a load of murdering <laughs> What an idiot! He is. But you've driven a bus, haven't you? Yes, lots. Lots How of bus drivers. How hard is it? Easiest thing I've ever done. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. It's as easy as sitting here? Yeah. It's easier, actually, cos you're not being filmed. So you can have a joint. No, sorry. <laughs> Good morning. I'd like a single to Hendon Overland. That's first class. That must be upstairs at the front, is it? I don't know. I haven't been on a night bus since the late 80s, but when I did, it wasn't like this. I was envisaging a sea of six sloshing from side to side. Where are you? Leaving the airport on a bus. Right. 
Well, I'm 90 miles behind you. <laughs> You're gonna have to make that up in no time. How far are you from Niagara Falls now? 23 miles. I'd say you could be doomed. Good luck, we're getting closer. Bye. It's never gonna do it. Luckily, however, buses have other people on them. I don't like this bit. What do you do there? You just have to sit here and see what happens. Yeah, bus travel is tricky to like, isn't it? And yes. we've got to stop and change buses, and if we lose 10, 15 minutes waiting for the next bus... I know, it's not in the back. 76 miles. Now Who pulled the... Well, it is a bus. <laughs> Can't be rude to the Nobody else pulled the string until we've got off, please. Let's just go all the way. It's a dual carriageway. No, it's got buses on it. You can't race where there's buses. Searching for targets. There's a bus around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, I can't get on it. I can't get on it. I can't get on the bus. Opening fire. Oh, I think I hit that, but I've done that wrong. It would be a tragedy if I were to hit that by mistake. I'm with my old mate, Richard Hammond. Oh, great. Mate, they're getting cross because you're using your mobile. Hello? We're in trouble now for talking on a phone on the bus. He wants to talk to you. Ah. Uh, hi. Do you know what time you're actually getting on that ferry? 25 past. It leaves. We're getting on it at about 22 minutes past. This is what public Drive! transport is about. Waiting. Drive! He's got a Bugatti, we've got a bus. Morning. If I don't catch this 10 o'clock ferry, I'm out of the race. That's a design I perfected on the school bus. Three, two, one, throw. Next, the bendy bus that ferries the passengers around. We're already pretty familiar with those. <laughs> 